Lynette, who, Dr. Lynette, who's going to talk to you, and she's got a story that you might want to hear. Thank you, Lynette. Hi, Andy. Oh, yeah, okay. Can everyone hear me? Yeah. So, um, my name's Dr. Lynette Heatherly. I'm a GP. Um, I'm currently unemployed. I've been affected by the mandates. I did um, telehealth for three months, and uh, but my contract was terminated then, so I haven't worked since the 25th of January. Um, and I, it's a big deal for me to come and talk to you because I renewed my medical registration this week um, with APRA and, uh, you know, I would love to go back to work. I really love my job, I love my patients, but I'm not going back until these mandates lift. Um, I, first of all, I just want to um, acknowledge all the people who have been affected um, in the last two and a half years, the loss of life which was so unnecessary, um, the disabilities that have been caused and all the mental health issues that have been caused, so much of it so unnecessarily. Um, now for myself, it's been a very humbling experience as I'm sure you can imagine. And, uh, but, and this might seem weird, but I'm personally grateful for what I've been through because it's, um, I've grown a lot in myself and spiritually. It's also given me the time to educate myself about um, how the world really works. And uh, I, last night I had a quick review of the National Pandemic Plan, which was reviewed in August um, 2019, just before this pandemic. And um, so just some words to quote, you know, they continually were saying that the uh, pandemic plan needs to be flexible, needs to be proportionate, needs to be targeted. And they said that the rights of the individual uh, should be upheld as much as possible. And healthcare workers' code of ethics, it was so important that these be adhered to. And all of this has gone up in smoke with um, the, this uh, tyrannical approach, which really, I believe, has come from overseas. I don't believe any of these guys are making this up. It's, we've been in lockstep with most of the world. Um, so yeah, they've been very disappointed, as most of you, with the mainstream media. I, I feel I was just devastated by the ABC. How much I, I love the ABC. How much they've um, they've lied to us, and how much they've um, censored the truth, and all the fear mongering that they've um, that they've done on behalf of governments and big pharma. And, uh, and this is also not just in the mainstream media, but in the medical media. So doctors are also being lied to. Um, so they also mentioned that there's been a massive increase in all cause mortality. But the only thing that they don't mention is the biggest elephant in the room. That this all started since the, um, these uh, jabs got, got rolled out. Um, the other thing that I've been, had a time to, to do this year is uh, read the real Anthony Fauci by um, Robin Kennedy Jr. And I've learned all about the industrial pharmaceutical complex, our profits are prioritised over safety, and how academics will sell their soul in order to maintain their funding and status. Okay, so I just I won't keep you for much longer, but I just I can't myself 
have a conversation about this without talking about the spiritual side. So for me, this is very strong. I do believe that um, this is why we are actually all here. We're, and everyone has a different role to play and everyone has their own journey to get through this. And it's, it's just so much pure evil that's behind this. And uh, it's very easy to get frustrated and angry. But my personal feeling is that it's only through love that we're going to get through this. I really believe that love will unite the world and love will unite humanity and good will overcome evil. Okay, thank you so much for listening to me. Thank you, Doctor. We really have to give these people a big round of applause because they are giving up their jobs to tell the truth and every doctor around the world should be doing the same. So give them another, give her, and all these doctors that are standing up a huge round of applause. Now someone was walking past and he said, there's no more mandates, you morons. Well, guess what there is? There's mandates for nurses and doctors. They have to get the jab, police have to get the jab. There are mandates. We are still technically in a state of emergency. I don't see any emergency there, Andrews. The only emergency in this state is Dan Andrews has to go. And he has to go to prison. starting on Friday the 7th and it's going to go all the way through to Tuesday the 11th or beyond. So depending on how many people get down here, we're expecting thousands. We're talking tens of thousands. We've got people coming from Queensland. We've got people coming from New South Wales. We've got convoys coming from South Australia. We've got people coming from Tassie. So we've got all the main guys on board. Everyone's promoting it. It's going to be it's going to be massive. So guys, I really look forward to seeing everybody there. Bring as many people as you can. On the Friday, we're going to do a march, which is commemorating all the people that have been hurt throughout this whole mess. So we're going to do that on the Friday. On the Saturday, we've got uh, the Human Change for Julian Assange. So at about 11 a.m on the river there's going to be a human chain with hopefully thousands of people the Assange campaign and the freedom campaign are one and the same it's all about truth and transparency and government and corporate corruption so we've got to join these causes together we're trying to do that on the saturday that's going to be magnificent julian's father and his brother will be here to do a speech as well so Make sure you're there for that one. Saturday night, we've got something special. We're gonna play a movie out at the Governor General's house. We're setting up a massive outdoor cinema. We're gonna put on a very special movie, maybe a couple. So anyone who's gonna be staying there will get to enjoy that. And we got Sunday, we got Monday. Uh, Monday, we've got the, the farmers coming. So we're gonna try and clog up the city with a few tractors. So that's gonna be awesome. And the, the Tuesday is dedicated to the lying media. So we want to go and visit the media on the Tuesday and send a very strong message that we're on to them. They've got to stop lying to us, these bastards, these criminals, these psychopaths. So please get the word out. Next week, starting on Friday, Mission to Melbourne. It's going to help 
bring all the people back together. Because you know what? You know how we're going to win this thing? We're going to win this thing if we all unite. It's the only way we're going to beat this, but we're heading in the right direction. Well done, everyone. Thank you, Walter. All right, we've got Clint here as a serviceman, and uh, he's going to be talking about if people think this is all over, they think, oh, you know, the pandemic, you know, band-aids are gone. Uh, let's move on with life. Well, it's not. There is much more coming, people, and Clint's going to tell us a little bit about what's happening. Yeah, good day. Everything we're doing here for the last three years is about protecting the community, right? The integrity of the community. There is no, there is no integrity in the government at all, almost, almost zero, as we know. But what I want to talk about that's been missed a little bit recently is that um, there's laws coming out, or, or, legal, or legislation we'll call it, uh, that you can't swim in rivers, you can't swim in dams, you can't walk off the, the track in the bush, you can't hunt, you know, you can't do any recreational things, you can't move a rock without a permit. Now, this affects everybody. This affects, it doesn't matter whether you're jab, whether you're mandated, whether you're at the top end of social society, or the lower end, it doesn't matter. If you can't walk in the bush without getting a permit, or swim in a creek, how far is it going to go? It's just going to keep on going and going and going. Right, eh? Many of our friends and family have already died through this uh, ridiculous agenda that the, that the world is trying to push on us. And there are only a few of them, it's only a few elites you know, that are pushing the buttons, that are playing the strings, pulling the strings. And um, there's way more of us, and there's a lot of good men and women out there who aren't even here. And I'm sure if they all were, there'd be no standing room anywhere in the city, anywhere. Um, or I don't want to say too much because I lose my place, but um, all right. And um, yeah, thanks everyone for coming. And uh, you're the strong ones by being here. And um, don't. it's good that everyone's uh, behaving and uh, all right, I'm going to shut up now. All right, thank you. Give it up for these guys who are standing up for us. Thank you, Clint. All right, guys, who wants to keep marching? Okay, we're going to head back to Parliament, I think.
Hey, because I want to kill Pete. Is that what we're going to do next week? Back off. Back off. Come on, back to organize your protest. He's got to sort out. Let's go. Come on, we've got mission. These guys, there's a couple of people sorting it out. Sonny! Get off the sweat. I'm going to assault them. I don't get baited, bro. I don't trust any of you, yeah? I just want to assault it when you could have communicated. Yeah, well, I could have been spoken to calmly by your senior sergeant, and you never did, okay? So this is the problem that we have with Big Planet. It's a communication. Go to the airport. Go to the airport. Go to the airport. Fucking chump. We're better than this. We're better than this. Enough. 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 Let's go. We're better than this, guys. Come on. Double standards. Come on. On the 29th of September, we will remember Victoria Police for all the buggery that the people have suffered under.
assault me again. Just one more announcement. For anyone uh, who's coming next week, and hopefully we all are.